Hey guys, welcome to a beginner's guide to IMO, indigenous microorganisms. IMO is the foundation of Korean natural farming and this series is all about my attempts and perseverance through figuring out what IMO cultivation looks like for me in my climate. This is meant to be both a bit of a tutorial and a documentation of my journey. I'm calling this series a beginner's guide, not because this is for beginners, although it totally could be, but because I am a beginner. I've been practicing Jadam for a number of years, which is sort of a branch or an offshoot of natural farming, but I've never been able to figure out the foundational component of Korean natural farming, which is IMO. So if this is your first time, welcome. After having taken our IMO through all five stages, I feel much more confident. So I really hope this helps. If you are someone who likes to have a written explanation of something you can reference or take notes on, we've provided a free ebook outlining the full process of all IMO cultivation. So please grab that if it would be helpful to you. And now here is where our journey begins. So for my collection box, I'm using this worm bin tote and it's got, as you can see, this perforated edge, it's like a quarter inch and it's just a plastic bin. I mean, typically they say that you want to use wooden bins, but this is what I've got and this is, you know, I don't have to make anything new. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down this burlap on the inside of the bin and this is just going to help keep the rice that I put in there so that it doesn't fall through and it'll also keep some of the bugs out. Okay, I want to make sure there's nothing else in there. And then I'm just going to take my cooked brown rice. This is five cups of dry brown rice and I'm going to fill up this tub about two thirds of the way. That's what they recommend or maybe halfway. We'll see how much I've got. I cooked this a while back and I put it on the tray to cool down faster. So this is fully cooled. I'm not going to compact it into the, the bin, the collection bin. I'm just going to kind of sprinkle it in and I'll make sure that it's evenly spread out. But I don't want to compact it because I want there to be a little bit of aeration, just an ability for the microbes to get all the way in there. So I guess I am just going to use all of this. And you know, we'll see. I mean, this is it is really hard to get a good collection in my area. It's so dry, but this is what we're gonna, how we're gonna try it. So now that that's in there, it looks like it, it honestly is filled about a third of the way. So that's totally fine. And then what I'm gonna do, and I'll show you how I do this here. I'm gonna use this cloth to cover it. And I don't want the cloth to sag down and touch it. So I'm gonna tie it on by using this and I'll, I'll get it tight when I actually fill it up, but I'm going to wait till I fill it up. I'm going to put some of the mycelium that I find in there, but basically I'm just going to tie it up. And then once I do that, I'll put this little protection lid over the top. It, this actually fits perfectly. It's not, a, it's not with it or anything, but that's just going to be a one extra layer of protection. And I can kind of put like a leaf mat and maybe some logs over it to kind of disguise it. And then I'll, I'll leave it. Let's go to the forest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, my box, my collection box of cooked rice, and I'm going to clear out a little bit more space. I'm going to get deep beneath the leaf litter, and I'm just going to nestle my box in there. I'll cover it up with this. I'm going to tie it. But before I do that, I'm going to take some, a, like a few tiny strands of the mycelium, and I'm going to actually just put it in the rice to get the inoculation starting. I'm going to very gently pick up this strand. I'd love to get a big piece of it. I'm going to try and get all the leaf debris off of it, if possible. I think I saw this from Chris Trump. But you can see that that's a mycelium thread and it's holding the, the leaf mold kind of all together on there. So I don't think it's a huge deal, honestly, if there's a little bit of little bit of leaf mold on there. I'm going to see if I can get all of that or as much of it off as possible. But if I can't, that's fine. Toss it around a little bit. Let's see. So I'm just going to put this strand right in the box and I might try and grab one more if I can find one that's big enough. Now, what I was looking for as I was looking, pieces of wood, like log 
or this is just a piece of bark. And that's where mycelium is oftentimes gonna grow. If it's damp and there's wood material, that's a great sign. So I'm just gonna take off some of this and do it carefully. I'll put that in there. Let's try and get one more big piece. So this is a great collection spot for me. I, it's been very hard for me to find this kind of material. My climate is very dry, but we're in late May. And so it's rained, you know, fairly recently. It's really not going to rain for a while, to my knowledge. Now I'm just going to set this aside, create a nice big area. So I've got mycelium underneath where the box is going to go. And I'm just going to tie this on right now. That's on. I'm going to put this box in here. There we go. I'm going to take a couple more pieces. Maybe this log has some mycelium, this little piece of bark, I guess. Some mycelium, I'm just going to put that on top. I don't want to weigh it down too much. I'm just trying to get keep the airflow in there. And then I'm going to take my cap again very non-official I just happen to have this tray that fits right over the top I think I'll put my bag actually over the top of that so that I can lay the debris back on top so this looks fairly good I mean fairly disguised I'm really hopeful that no one's gonna find it and disturb it at all or an animal hopefully hopefully not but I'm going to check back in on this and I think probably a week because the temperatures right now are between probably like 70 at the highest down to 45. And so the culturing will take a little bit longer than in like Hawaii where it could take like a couple of days or something. All right. It's been 10 days since I put the collection box here. I came and checked it several days ago. I think it was around day five or six. There was a tiny bit of fungal development. I saw a little bit of white fuzz and a kind of some colorful spots. The weather has just been, it's been pretty cool. Gave it more time and I'm hoping that I'm going to open this up and see something really cool. We'll see how it looks. Now there was definitely something that chewed through the fabric the first time that I came and checked it. This was um, had been chewed on. And there were a few bugs, but nothing terrible inside of the collection box. So, coming up for the grand unveiling. Very curious what we're going to see. And I should say, I also, when I first came to back to this, this had been chewed through. So, there's that. Let's see what we're looking at here. Okay. Nice. That looks like a great collection. There's definitely some green and kind of gray molds, but for the most part, that looks the white fungus that you're looking for as a IMO collection. Feel very good about that. There's a few bugs in there. That worm, some worms over here, some crawlies. I think that they probably helped bring this mold into the collection box. So. That's awesome. All right, we're gonna take this, we'll wrap it back up and we'll take it home. All right guys, that is how you make IMO One. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this took me many tries to finally get. So if you're struggling, please keep at it. It is worth the journey. You can do it. Hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for how to make IMO 2 in our next video and drop a comment asking any questions or sharing your observations regarding the whole IMO process. We would love to hear those. Also, don't forget to pick up our free guide by hitting the link in the description box. Really hope this helped and happy growing y'all.